Hello everybody, it's Suzanne here. Welcome back to my channel. My follower on Facebook, on the Facebook group, Skin Envy, uh, Dixie, asked me to do a tutorial on the eyeshadow that she saw on uh, one of the posts. So I've pulled everything out and we're gonna do that today. I already did my left, whoops, my left eye and all now we have to do to keep the video as short as possible is the right eye. I already applied an eyeshadow base. This is the P. Louise, of course now I need my glasses, the P. Louise base cosmetic base and it is a beautiful um flesh tone and it's called it's the color is called rumor zero two and um it's a great canvas for eyeshadow i like using an a um eyeshadow base because that keeps the eyeshadow from creasing so i already applied this and i'm just making sure that there's no creases in here as i open and close my eye. So, I am going to now move on to the colors. And in that picture, the light color was Sephora Ombre Crayon. Oh, I don't speak French. I speak German, I don't speak French. Okay, this is the shadow and liner. And it's waterproof, shimmer, and the color is cotton candy looks like this as you can see it's been used well used so what i like to do is go and take this and put it in the inside corner and place it over halfway in as you can see and then i'm going to take my ring finger and smooth this out now i don't want to go with this color past my crease barely into the crease is where I want to place that so just like that that's going to lighten and brighten the eye and also open it up next is the darker shade this is so easy it's two colors a light and a dark you can use any colors that you want I like using the browns and this is the double act shadow stick and the, i use the dark color called dusk and this is almost gone almost gone the other color is a little lighter a little more shimmery i don't use it that often i don't know why it's pretty maybe not dark enough for me i don't know anyway so i'm going to take a angled pin uh, brush and make sure for this job you want an, and use a synthetic bristled brush because this is a cream and that synthetic brush gives you a better result. So I'm just putting a little of the color onto the brush and then I'm going to just place this on the outside corner a nice angle. See how the angle is? 45 degrees I believe and then I'm going to just bring it into the crease I'm as you can see I'm just placing that color right let me close this up and then again take my finger or you can take the brush let's take the brush and just smudge it blend it in I like to blend it towards the inside corner because I don't want more, any more color out here. I want the color in. So when you place that darker color, make sure you place it where you want it and work in because you don't want to drag it out. That you're in danger of then dragging your eye visually down and, and it's not necessarily the best look that you're going for. So. Here I am, I'm blending that brown color into the crease. And then with my finger going around the edge. And see how that looks? Very, very pretty, very soft, 
not very harsh. And that was that. Finishing up with an eyeliner. This is the L'Oreal, I want to say, Infallible. Yes, Infallible um, Never Fail Eyeliner, also in brown. And I like these because they're automatic. I don't need a um, sharpener for these. All right. And with this, all I'm doing is applying the eyeliner on the outside corner, maybe halfway in, do a little wedge. And make sure that this is nice and skinny here. If it's not, this has a nice little, um, oh, what do you say, blending tip that you can then just blend this out how you like. But as you can see, only out to here, from here to here, that's all you want. Then we're gonna tight line. Tight line means applying that eyeliner on the inside top at the lash line. And yes, this can tickle. And you can poke yourself with this. And you can go all the way down into the corner. Just like that. Just like that. All right. And then the bottom lash line, two thirds of the way in. Again, we're going to just smudge it, blend it lightly like that and that's that how quick and easy is that followed up oh before I do the mascara let me then tell, give you the little secret now you take a little bit of setting powder this is translucent Patrick Ta labs this is a fabulous fabulous powder um, it's very finely milled. This is light, looks like this. It's pretty white, but you know, once it gets on the skin, you don't see that white anymore. And take a little brush. And since this is cream, make sure you smooth anything out. We don't want any kind of a crease. And then just gently press a little of this powder into the eyeshadow. That kind of sets it. And that's all. Now comes the mascara. Uh, today I'm using the Huda Beauty. Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. It's two-ended. I'm using this end, the big end, today. And just place the mascara. Easy peasy eyeshadow look. And there we go. There we go. That was it. All right. If you have any questions, please reach out. Happy to answer your, answer any questions that you might have. So until next time, love to you all.